She'd been practicing for years just for this moment. She floated onto the stage with a poise that had their mouths on the floor. As she'd hoped, the company wanted her as their star ballerina, but only on one racist condition. This is Two Minute Black History, what you didn't learn in school. She danced her way onto the audition stage with grace and a hush fell over the room of white judges. They stood stunned in disbelief that a black ballerina as good as Janet Collins existed. She was accepted into the ballet company, but only on one racist condition. She had to paint her face white. The company wanted her to disguise her blackness to perform with them. But despite being only 15 years old, Collins refused to stoop so low. Instead, she pivoted and ultimately made some big moves. Collins performed in vaudeville shows and theater troupes and eventually performed her own choreography during her 1949 New York debut. She kept grinding, and soon her star power was undeniable. She danced her way into the top spot as the first black prima ballerina with the ultra prestigious Metropolitan Opera House. Jim Crow law still kept her off the stage when the company toured in Southern states. Despite this, Collins never gave up on her dreams, never danced in whiteface, and later taught dance to other underrepresented dancers. No matter how great we've been at our crafts, as black folks, white supremacy has always been there trying to stop us or make us deny our blackness to succeed. But despite these racist barriers, we have to remain resilient and pursue excellence anyway. In order to move towards the future, you have to look to the past. This has been Two Minute Black History, a podcast by Push Black. Show your support by sharing this story on your social media and join us in amplifying stories we all deserve to know.